Now, how do you spot a taquilla? Because I actually got this question way too many times that how do we know if somebody is using taquilla? For example, I have been accused of using taquilla. Now, here's the thing. Taquilla is to further the agenda of Islamization. What I do, I don't talk back about, bad about Islam or Sharia to make you believe Islam is good. I'm actually fighting Islam. So that doesn't apply into category of using taqiyya. The only time a taqiyya is being used if somebody comes out and say, hey, you see this Aina Zaini Cyrus? She's lying. Hijab isn't mandatory. Even though when you go back and say, hey, she brought up verses of your own Quran saying that hijab is mandatory, they will continue on denying the truth of what I'm talking about without having a fact. So basically, every time you want to spot a taqiyya, ask for a fact. If there's no fact behind it, it is absolutely taqiyya. I, I understand it takes more education and more knowing of Sharia and Islam to be able to ask those questions, but... The, the easiest way to spot if some Muslim are playing taqiyya or using taqiyya on you is don't ask them to denounce their faith. Don't ask them to denounce the terrorism. Don't ask them to deny the violence. No. Ask them to denounce Allah or Muhammad. These are the only two things that are not under no circumstances allowed by a Muslim to do. Even if a Muslim is about to die for believing in Islam, he cannot denounce Allah or Muhammad. No matter how you talk to Muslim people, moderate or radical, they will always tell you Muhammad is the Prophet and word of Allah in Quran is the truth. They don't have the ability or capability to denounce any of those. They will go as far as saying, yes, Muhammad killed people, but guess what? He said, don't cut the tree out. Which is pretty much no logic into it. Like, come on. You think nature and flowers are more important than life of people? These are the way they will argue with you. Basically, no fact at all. Very much as soon as you talk about Muhammad, just the way I'm talking about Muhammad right now, is enough for them to get offended because normally you have to add the prophet word in there and then that, you know, piss be upon him type of thing that goes after it. So actually, even though you think Takiya subject is very complicated, it's very easy. They will never disagree with anything Muhammad has ever done. If they do that, they will burn in hell. So that's your best bet to notice if somebody is really against Islam or they're acting to make you or convince you that Islam has been hijacked and the Islam they believe in is all peaceful because Islam has not been hijacked. And now let's not even bring up the fact that if Islam is hijacked, like, you know, I'm sure if any other religion which I don't call Islam religion, but for the sake of argument for a second, if any other religion was hijacked by a group of people, the real believers of that religion want to stand up to the hijackers, right? But as you can see, nobody is standing up to the so-called hijackers, which are the leaders of all Islamic countries who are nothing but evil. And if you confront them, the first thing they're going to say is, that had nothing to do with Islam. And that's your perfect timing to bring up the fact that, hey, wait, didn't Muhammad himself promise his enemy a safe passage? And then as they were passing through, they all got beheaded. And I'm going to actually give you the exact number. It's on Sahih Bukhari. <coughs> Excuse me. Sahih Bukhari 52 269. 52 269. When Muhammad lied to the members of by the way, this is very important. Those members that got beheaded on that war, there was no war. There was Muhammad and his people in war with another different group of people. And these people who were unarmed, not involved with the war, just needed to pass through Muhammad's area. So next time they tell you it's not Islam, this would be a perfect tool to use. 
ask them, how come Muhammad beheaded a bunch of unarmed people passing through his area when, promised, when he promised them they can get through, no harms will come their way. And watch them have a complete meltdown. And that's when you got your tikiya. That's how you spot so-called moderate Muslims trying to help the agenda of Islamization of the West. I have said it many times. I am being hated for saying this, but I am not going to say radical Islam, moderate Islam, moderate Muslim, extremist Muslims, there is just one type of Islam and there's just one type of Muslims. Now, if I, if they want to walk around and call themselves Muslims and pick and choose, well, that doesn't work.